Eight-year-old Perrin is from North Carolina, but while he was in Utah visiting family over the Christmas holiday, he started getting these headaches and they took him to the ER there in Utah and found out he has a brain tumor. So he's been staying in Utah while recovering from surgery. And, you know, while he's happy to have his family around him, one important family member was missing. His eight month old German shepherd, Frank. Frank had been left behind in North Carolina because they thought, you know, they were just going to Utah for a week or two uh, for the holidays. So they shared how much they missed Frank on social media. And believe it or not, this stranger stepped up to help get Frank from North Carolina all the way to Utah. I felt really excited to see Frank. I just really like Frank and he's a good dog. And one time when we were just like laying down and snuggling, a tear went down. He cried, and I felt loved. <laughs> that stranger's name is Bob. He's a former trucker, and he drove Frank, the German Shepherd, 2,300 miles in 52 hours to reunite a boy and his dog. I had never questioned why I was doing it or anything like that. I just knew it was something that needed to be done, and I wanted to do it. So if you're wondering when it comes time for the family to go back to North Carolina, how is Frank going to get home? Well, Bob has already volunteered to do the trip all over again. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Did he let Frank drive too? Like share turns? I doubt it. Uh, you know, because it, it takes thumbs to drive. Oh, it's a good point. <laughs> yes. Uh, I didn't think about that. But I, he was probably good company. I had a dog named Frank. Did you? Mm -hmm. No, you really? Yeah. You named a dog Frank. My son Michael named him Frank. We thought it was funny. It is a cute name. We chuckled and said, okay. Oh, good. Just want to share that with you. I'm glad. My heart is now filled with joy mm -hmm. and warmth.